Condra estava ali no primeiro pelotão. Tinha praticamente todo mundo atrás dele. O Guibaques não teve o que fazer. Veja só de novo. O toque lateral do Kiko Pô. Desequilibrou o carro do Dorivaldo Gondra, Serrato. É, um acidente daqueles que... O Kiko Porto abre um pouquinho para fazer uma tangência melhor. Ele abriu para cima de onde estava o Dorivaldo Gondra. Os primeiros pilotos ali da fila conseguiram visualizar. Tem quick. Yeah, Come on. Exactly. That's Somebody's not gonna good. hit him and they have. And... Well, there's your next safety car. Oh, no. oh, big jump. There's, big jump. Oh, there's your leader. Oh, no, that's the leader breakthrough. There's your leader. And it's gone through. Mid so it's Austin Green. Six. So that's a fast part of the track. Yeah, it's another crash. It's, it's a Jaguar. Jaguar. It's Sam Bird. Sam Bird has crashed out. Oh, oh no. That's absolutely huge. Sebastian Mawaini. Mawaini into the side of him. Red flag is immediately. I was already dancing at home, but it does every single lap. Uh, he's just white. Sam's wide and he's over the crest and as he spins round it's there that he's moving around and the impact's behind. The people behind have got a very narrow area where they can maybe get it through. Or oh, we didn't see the first part of that so we only saw the Maserati. Yeah, this will be important. Let's have another look. So this is Bird's crash. The way he goes into the back of it there as well. Competitive effect. Oh, and that's Mortara. That's the one that's really, really nasty. Robin Fright's involved in there. Back in, back in. Oh, big stack up, huge damage to the 48 of Parker. Savage involved as well. Justin Allgaier is involved in it. Yeah, big wreck. This is one of those racetracks we see this a lot. You see the car on his outside is laying back quite a bit, and they, they just don't go. And everybody's anticipating a launch, and they hadn't launched. And now the leaders, they can wait all the way. Here comes Neuegger as well in the number 13, the black and white car. Oh, there's a spin. Matthew Dirks has gone around. This is going to be another big one. Huge incident. Oh, Huge that's, incident. That's Woody Hyman. Hyman getting kicked around. All kinds of debris from the... So the top four are clear at the moment. And that was a big, big hit from Woody, who was... A, catapulted across the track. Gosh, Clayton Ketcher gets thrown up that in was, the air. That was the car that ran over its own right front wheel. This is what happened. Oh, that's a big one. Multiple cars involved in that. Bit on Baktik. There's Spinner going on through. In the background, it looked to be Quintarelli. Straight away. Yeah, and Marshall's on that very yeah. much straight away. We can see it again here. Ah, he's jumped up the front. If Parker yeah. is that? Yeah, on the front fender. Oh, and then wow. the thing with these cars, once they start, as we saw in the John Mickle incident that we showed in the interview with, with John earlier on, the, oh, yeah. they, they do. Does not have the power coming off of turn two. They make contact between himself and Rick Paust. Rick Paust is spinning now over in turns three and four. Three, four, five trucks get together. Chris Roberts fly goes airborne actually flips the truck Three. The lead literally with a bump not just oh he's been hit again he's going off this is going to be huge oh no in the uphill and this carnage Roland is involved does he move across he takes the maybe line maybe he does but that's the racing line good point Shay and brilliant driving by Hinge to get through that. He's Victor Martins on the leading, Dennis Hauger. It is Victor Martins on the bout of kant. Oh, Hauger gaat wijd, Hauger gaat wijd, Hauger gaat wijd. Martins ook, en de roe van Aarde Ronder. En zo hebben we een rode vlag, want dit is einde. Oh, Todd Ramo in trouble in the wall, Josh Lovely. They are hit an egg beater in turn one. Upside down, red flag is out. Out of his teammate Najiri, he wants to try and leapfrog him, and they're still going to be side by side. Lawson is off, he's lost it, he's lost it on the far side, and there's a big accident. Oh my goodness, three or four cars going over him. That's one of the BMAX cars, it's one of the dandelions as well. That's got to be Tadasuke Mack. Here comes the battle for the lead, and the lead is held up. Here's the opportunity, oh, and there's a touch, there's another touch, dear, 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 and dear. that is going to be off the circuit. A huge incident, and he's driven straight into the Porsche, and the other Porsche's gone over the top. Both Porsches are out, both Porsches are out. Comes one way, then the other. There is a touch, and then after that, it's carnage. Yeah. Albuquerque straight through. Now he might not either. A disputa tá sensacional aqui em Goiânia. Ai.
E aí Ai. tem toque aqui na reta, né? Alcinho, Casa Grande, Cacá, Bueno, uma batida forte. Agora esquece bandeira vermelha, fim de prova. Ai. Pneu voando, Ai. os carros vêm ali a alta velocidade. Passa de novo acertando o um pneu. Ai, que Passa ali, vai escapando. Vamos ter o safety car na pista. Safety car na contact already for a McLaren. I think that's Rosenquist. Felix Rosenquist with more damage in the back. The track is total chaos. Looks like Devil and Francesco airborne. Simon Pagano I see in the wall. His teammate Elio Cash. Back. I'm not even sure this was related. It looks like maybe I want to say it was Santino Ferrucci. No, David Malucas, I think. No, Santino Ferrucci. Sorry, in the black car got into the back. Oh my goodness. Of I think my side. Big, uh, big rear lock. Cole Hurd. Oh, we're just oh. We have a car up and over. Kyle Kirkwood's involved. That looks like Jack Harvey as well. Oh, oh. Deu parte de dentro. Tem strike. Tem carro rodando. Minha nossa. Todo mundo vai indo embora, provavelmente, olha na pista, que strike impressionante, estamos visualizando aqui. Impressionante, tem carro capotado, meu Deus. Bandeira vermelha nesse momento, é simplesmente indescritível o que estamos vendo. Simplesmente indescritível o que estamos vendo no bacião. Gurelli turns into the first corner successfully. Kumpen's getting a nud from Hazeman's behind. So Hazeman sent Kumpen into that collision. And in the process of that, lifted his own bonnet. Dauenhauer was somehow tagged. That moment, yeah. and three cars essentially met each other on the off-road. And the Mercedes was in that too. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. He's had the Russell course having to go over oh. as well. And uh, yeah, so they all just collect each other on the way out. Lorison got the lead back again. Uh, Paolo Meloni, and he gets up the inside, turns the Audi around. That comes across the road and gets hit hard by the Borisan BMW, that in turn gets hit hard. And here it is from another angle. BMW hits, gets hit by the Aston Martin. Others on the outside of the road with nowhere to go get caught up in it, and it's just a general melee, isn't it? That with everyone. Oh, the 45 gets in, 45, 43, a bunch of cars into the wall really hard. That was crazy. They both got into the wall kind of nose to tail. Chaos ensued from that moment. Zane Smith in the 38 sliding through the grass. The second off that because it gets turned around on the left hand side of the screen. And then also spinning was ever on. He gets done head on. Yeah, by Kropinski. really have nowhere to go. Uh, 13. Now here comes the spins. I think so. Oh, there we go. So that was contact. Uh, there we had uh, Van Eindhoven uh, involved in that. Uh, there goes Boost. He understandably comes back down the inside. The door closes. There's contact and because of the angle of the corner, because of the downhill run and the lightness of the rear wheels. Around she went and just collected with the back of the car. Adrian Rushni, who was, hey, was really unlucky. contact there so that was live see the one that's been left in the uh, in the circuit that was uh, emma tomlinson that's been pushed out and there that is where lucy had rick yeah the back oh end. oh, oh big into red. the wall hard goes ryan blaney off the nose of ty gibbs and the big one happens behind him oh, and it brought so many people into it look at all these cars good race cars big only, impact yeah only six cars have gone through already Look at how many cars. Also, to avoid the barrier, keep an eye on the 84 car in the back of shot if we can see it. Really does a good job avoiding the collision. Really unfortunate for Bazare in the number four because he was having a good run. Julian Bazare, right there in the top half dozen, uh, top dozen or so. I'd say one of his better performances. Peterson and Elio Castroneves coming together. Here's Ferrucci making a move. Look at David Malukas diving in on Di Francesco. Keep watching, keep watching Ferrucci. He's got McLaughlin to his outside. Did McLaughlin tag him maybe accidentally to send that black mobile out wide? Uh, heading through the first chicane. 
We saw a kick motorsport car going off. Well, that's a big smash, isn't it? A big collision. I think maybe locking up, just going in deep. NZ car, this might show it a little bit better. So it was David Russell with smoke pouring off his tyre on the outside, and there's the contact with the BWT Porsche entry of Fabian Coulthard. Vidot taking evasive action, but then wait as Hedge spins and he does a full 360, selects first gear and drives away, but the chaos unfolds behind. So Pancioni's turned around by Adrian Flack, and then Nick McBride's sort of collateral damage in that, but with this, the steering lock on Flack's car, it's rolled McBride up over the front quarter of car 20, and then into the pathway of Sam Shahin, who's trying to take evasive action. So Sam really had no role to play in that. He was just trying to drive around it. And doing nothing wrong, just trying right. to navigate around the incident. But, you know, unfortunately in these situations, the cars will go where they want. They're all tangled up on each other and Sam's a bit of collateral damage yeah. there. On the outside, it looks as though it's Aurelia on her bells, upside down. Dominguez goes through, Alfio Spinner with a broken car nine, tries to pull off Enzo Delini. A huge crash for the Brazil of two Chinese drivers, the rookie with nowhere to go. So it was Freddie Slater making contact with one of the Prema cars, absolutely scattering. Uh, ça va de Tristan Clé à uh, Bruno Noregrag, uh, à l'image de la uh, Franck Chaigny. Oh, ça a tapé pour Henri Bizet Ça a tapé Ouais. Ouh, et puis, euh, et oh là 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 là, ouais. Carambolage, ouais. Henri Bizet, oh, ouais, ça prend feu, feu. C'est Jérémy Hazard qui prend feu Avec. Sort... Ouais, il va falloir vite euh, sortir euh, Jérémy des Hazard, voitures. Jérémy Hazard, Patrick Tom. Si, évidemment, indemne. Donc, certes, le côté mécanique est dramatique, évidemment, mais restons évidemment concentrés sur la partie humaine. Et sur les dégâts humains. Ah ouais, ça a tapé fort ça a tapé hein, derrière. Fort. Et je crois ça a tapé que très très fort derrière. Alors, ouais, là, ça a été vraiment compliqué et de, tout de suite après, ça, ça s'enflamme. Mais attention parce que. And again, I think you're going to want to look at Carson Quapel's machine when it initially starts. And there's the aftermath. Cars piling in late in the wreck. You can see Pimbleton and Chase Burrow. Because for sure. And. They then came back across the road. How was the how? Ah, uh, Tandy got picked up yep. because he was braking in front of that, and the two cars that spinning no, he weren't. Was, he was coming around the outside of them. So he comes through. Oh yes. So jolly lucky he didn't take out the other Porsche as well. Actually, yeah, absolutely right. Uh, that well. Move the tires. Here comes the seven. Contact made. The seven of all. And they wreck on the front stretch. Big contact. Up at the front, he could lose it under the safety car. This is the moment rear-ended here. And that, I believe, is the 55 belonging to Jamie Stanley and Lauren DeMeos, who unfortunately has gone into the back of Marco Polo. They scattered in this moment, convolted, which is remained firm to the Polo. It creates the chaos, it is centered. The pilot is Eston, so the red flag is certainly because the pit is impracticable. There was the so-called... 5.1 seconds off the lead. Wow, Alex Davison. Alex was having a huge lunge down the inside. Oh. And there's... Massive contact. That'll be it. That'll be it. Alex. No. Oh, that's Safety huge. Scramble. That is huge. That'll be the race. That with the red flag as well. So there are the leaders. Wall comes into shot backwards. And just watch Simon no. Fallon's car drill between David Wall and then the fence. And then for good measure, hits on. Teen reaction there. <laughs> Well, um, Harvick got jacked up, literally, by another race car. Uh, he's gone to the pit lane, Bobby Labonte. Circuit, isn't it? Yeah. So here it is again. So lap car, he just loses it. Pure and simple. Can't slow the car down. Hits the barrier. Comes across the road. And Ryan Wong thinks, I'm going to go that way. But he ends up sort of hitting the brakes and spinning and being hit. And then the car that's hit him, look, comes across the road and gets collected as well. So look, Ron one confronted with that car. Oh, I think he might have been hit from behind anyway, actually. Big, big impact. And then 
is number six. Must pass the 17 car. He's going to end up jumping over the chicane. Hedge as well. No! Oh, has gone. He's gone into the fence. Davidson and Quinn. The outside. Little bit of touch there with Max Fado. Oh, actually, Callum Hedge hits the second one. Now, look at Jackson Walsh. Yeah, he's right. That uh, left rear tyre had actually popped off the rim, and which well caused him to spin. Alex Davison got caught up. Ryder Quinn, Christian Pacioni, they all got caught up in that one.